How are you? Welcome, welcome. After arriving today, although weary with travel, I had the utmost longing and yearning to see you and could not resist this meeting. Now that I have met you, all my weariness has vanished, for your meeting is the cause of spiritual happiness. I was in Egypt and was not feeling well, but I wished to come to you in America. My friend said, this is a long journey, the sea is wide. You should remain here. But the more they advised and insisted, the greater became my longing to take this trip. And now I have come to America to meet the friends of God. This long voyage will prove how great is my love for you. There were many troubles and vicissitudes, but in the thought of meeting you, all these things vanished and were forgotten. I am greatly pleased with the city of New York, its harbor, entrance, its pierre buildings and broad avenues are magnificent and beautiful. Truly, it is a wonderful city. As New York has made such progress in material civilization, I hope that it may also advance spiritually in the kingdom and covenant of God, so that the friends here may become the cause of the illumination of America, that this city may become the city of love and that the fragrances of God may be spread from this place to all parts of the world. I have come for this. I pray that you may be manifestations of the love of Baha'u'llah, that each one of you may become like a clear lamp of crystal from which the rays of the bounties of the blessed perfection may shine forth to all nations and peoples. This is my highest aspiration. It was a long, long trip. The more we traveled, the greater seemed the expanse of the sea. The weather was brilliant and fine throughout. There was no storm and no end to the sea. I am very happy to meet you all here today. Praise be to God that your faces are shining with the love of Baha'u'llah. To behold them is the cause of great spiritual happiness. We have arranged to meet you every day at the homes of the friends. In the East, people were asking me, why do you undertake this long voyage? Your body cannot endure such hardships of travel. When it is necessary, my body can endure everything. It has withstood 40 years of imprisonment and can still undergo the utmost trials. I will see you again. Now, I will greet each one of you personally. It is my hope that you will all be happy that we may meet again and again.